hurt like hell. Okay. Okay, so note to self, don't do that. Hey guys, Zach Mars here, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D All Stars. So, we're gonna go back in here. Because that's what we've been doing. That's what we've been doing for the past couple of episodes. If you haven't gotten it by this point, uh, I don't know how to help you. <laughs> I, I, I don't mean, I don't mean, I, I know that probably will have come off the wrong way, but I really don't know how to help you if you don't know that we're going back into Rainbow Run and doing it at this point. If you're, if you're watching these sequentially, which I hope you are. Um, then, uh, 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 okay, if you're watching these sequentially, which I hope everybody is, I, I'm hoping everybody at home is watching these in the order that I designed them to be watched in. If not, then, uh, why are you, why are you even watching Let's Plays anymore? Because that's most of the stuff I do. Most of the stuff I do is sequential stuff. So, yeah, the most of it is supposed to be intended to be watched in order. So if you're not watching it in order, then what are you doing? I, I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but... But I mean, I made the I I put episode I put episode numbers and lists and stuff and put them in playlists in or, order at least if I remember. Um, I try I do that in or I do that for a reason. So I it's the, it's the, so that you don't get lost when I make a new episode. It's like oh which episode is this? Oh it's episode I I want to say 50, 54 or something. I want to say I want to say it's episode fifty four or something. I don't remember. I also don't remember because I've recorded a whole bunch of these, but. Um, actually, I should, actually thinking about this, I should probably, I should probably split the, hmm, I don't know if that's going to work, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, oh well, <laughs> there we go. I, I'm thinking about it, I, I was thinking I should probably split the episodes up, up into three separate playlists, but then I remembered that I didn't really do that for Ace Attorney either, so, eh, I, I don't know. Do you guys want me to split it up in the multiple play- I've been thinking about doing that for a couple of the playlists that I made. Like, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is an obvious one since, technically speaking, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is- is one of those series that's- that technically speak- that, um, is like, it's all one connected story arc, but it's all- but it's all- but most of the stories are completely inconsequential to one another. And I don't know if that's going to come across- and I don't know if I should split them up or not. Because, uh, JoJo, because JoJo, JoJo's is a weird case. People are like, you can't watch it out of order or you're going to lo lose something. But there's only like seven characters that are, that are recurrent, that are important enough to the plot that they're, that you need to remember who they are. And then, uh, and then most of it is Lauren's fan service. So for the most part, it's, it's, it's largely disconnected. And case in point, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, um, it actually got popular during part three. Um, people started reading and watching part three first, even though parts one and two were a thing by that, by that point, um, because part three was just introduced dance and that was, and that was, and that's easily the most popular concept that the series has ever come up with. So obviously people are going to start with what's popular, but, but it, but it was kind of like the whole, a whole diehard um, corner of JoJo's, of the JoJo's fan base. They were like, you can't skip parts. That's, that ruins the whole point of the JoJo's. And it's like, no, it doesn't. Cause JoJo's is... Because Shonen Jump is built around that entire business model of watch of you pick up something that you like and then you might read something else that you like and then you and then you go from there. Um, so on um, in that regard, it's very much a it's Shonen Jump is very much a series of uh, very much a com a um, magazine that co that profits on the idea that you're watching something else that you may or may not like. So you might as well watch something else that you like as well. Um, I'm gonna die. Um, Shonen Jump is very pop. That's how Shonen Jump got popular. It's their entire business model. They, they, they kind of just throw whatever. They kind of just throw what, whatever happens to be in their in their magazine at that time. Um, and then people just kind of sit down and read it. These people sit down, read it, read what they want to for their for their for the next installment in their series. And then people, and then because people own the ma own the magazine anyway, they figure they might as well watch something else that they're interest read watch or read something else that they're interested in. Um. And basically, and basically, that's the entire formula for Shonen series is that they built built around that model. It's built around that model of read what of read and watch whatever you want. And JoJo's takes is, is especially good at, good at taking to that model because it's the it because while it does because while they are printed in order, they are printed they're most of the most of JoJo's is self-contained parts. So 
um, very li very few of the story arcs ever actually involve one another one another again. There are a couple of characters that are recurring, and then and you kind of need to watch their their part to be able to watch or read their part to be able to understand what's going on. Um, but for the most part, it doesn't really matter. Um, for the most part, it's fine. For the most part, it's fine if you skip a part or two. You can skip a you can skip around, watch something you like, and then go back and re and reread something else. It's that that's just what it is. It's just what the series that's just what JoJo's is in general. People are people are gonna get probably gonna get mad at me, but I don't care. That's that's how JoJo's is designed to be read. That's how this that's how it's designed to be read. It's start, it got popular in part three, and yet people were like, no, you can't skip parts. That's not how it works. That's not how any of that works. Um, I don't know why I'm talking about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure while I'm trying to play Mario, but probably because I haven't talked about it in a while because of because of cells at work. Probably because of that, and I needed to come out, and I needed to come out somehow, but, oh well. Uh, boing. I, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's on the same path that I took earlier, so I should know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Let's see. Yeah, but yeah, well, that's just the that's just kind of something that boggles me about the JoJo's fan base. It's just like you're reading a story. The, the entire point of the story is to watch is to kind of read it out of order. I mean, you can, you should read it in order. That's how it's that's can't you can. That's the main idea behind it is that you can. The, but I mean, the main idea is that you're supposed to watch. It, you can watch or read it in any order. But if you read it in publishing order, you kind of you can it, it kind of makes a bit sense about the story. The only the only part of the story that actually requires you to to know about all the continuity and lore is in part six, where all of that where all of that comes together. But as as long as you start, as long as you end on part six and and then read part. And then, as long as long as you end on part six and, and read the, you can read the other set, the, the the first five parts out of order. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It does not matter at all. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna call this rant, by the way. Maybe part skipping is okay. Just, just as a as an idea. Just as an execution. That's probably what I'm gonna call it. Uh, I need to. Uh, I need to be able to time this perfectly, or I'm not going to be able to get over. There we go. Um, okay, and that's the staircase, so... Uh, this is the tricky triangles, right? Ah! Okay, okay, so tricky triangles is going to be a pain in the ass to get to, but... Eh, I've got time. I've got to... I do have to make food eventually, at some point, um... But I've got time to do that. Um, but yeah, JoJo's is. But yeah, it's just a little nutty that that jo that jo that JoJo's in particular is is victim to the whole you should not skip skip arcs kind of thing. Cause cause there have been some some series that have that have actually excelled in that by don't by putting some of their more exciting parts first. Um, for example, um, what's it called? Um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball. It started with Dragon. The, the series originally aired in America with Dragon Ball Z. And then Dragon Ball was just kind of like a... was just, The original Dragon Ball was just kind of like a precursor to that. It's just like... It was it was designed... It's just like... Just Funimation just kind of took a gamble on that and it paid off. And that's, and that's how Dragon Ball became famous here in the West. But... Um, well, popular is the better word. But, that's how, but in any case, that's how Dragon Ball got its start here in the West. It's just... If they started with Z, which I either most popular part... I'm throwing them straight in the action, and it paid off, and now I, d I should watch Dragon Ball at some point, because I've been told it's good. I've never actually seen it. I know Dragon Ball as a whole is very slow, so that's why I've been putting it off, but... And, and, that, and that's not even a filler thing, because it's still slow. I sat down to watch an episode, and I was like, this takes... This is... I just sat down to watch an episode of Super, just like, at, a, at random, because it was, uh, it was playing in my local Thudruckers, and I was just like... This is kind of this is kind of slow, kind of slow, and kind of boring. Which is, and it is just like it's just like it, it spends a lot of time expositing stuff. Is what is what the thing is. The fights usually take way too long, 
Um, and that was like a meme because that was like a meme because it was especially evident in the Frieza saga where Frieza said it would take five minutes and then it didn't, and it took like several, like two and a half hours for for the, the plane to actually blow up. But uh, the thing about that, ow! Well, the thing about that is that is like there was like there's actually a theory by Map Hat that says that that it wasn't actually a mistake. He was actually using that as a psychological thing. He was trying to fake people. Fake Goku out to think, to think. Oh, I've got five minutes to beat this guy, but and then it didn't work. He, yeah, I sucked into Freeze's entire battle strategy in that fight, and it's kind of amazing. Uh, and my pet has been doing a lot more theories like that, where where, the, where he's been dissecting some of the more um so, some thing, some of the more stuff by just looking at the scenes and analyzing that kind of stuff. He did one with um the Friday the Thirteenth series, which I personally recommend. It's really fun. It's really fun. He just kind of goes through. He just kind of instead of doing a theory, he just kind of goes through a bunch of different scenes where it's like, can Jason Voorhees teleport? And that was like the thing. Okay, I need to. Okay, so that platforming section is gonna be a little bit difficult. All right, I gamed over. All right, that's fine. Press button. All right, let's go in. All right, but he, but yeah, he did a theory breaking down a bunch of different scenes where Jason is shown teleporting, as I'm gonna put in air quotes, because um, well, the whole because the whole thing about Friday the Thirteenth is that it's like it's supposed to be like this campy horror story, um, and the thing and and J and the thing about and the thing with horror stories is that the killer just kind of pops up out of nowhere, pops up out of nowhere, and is n and is never explained. And Friday the Thirteenth kind of does that to an to an absurd degree because there's just a whole bunch of moments where Jason just kind of shows up randomly without any explanation as to how he got there. But if he actually, but Matt Pat actually dissected the scene, scene and he was like, "No, this isn't teleportation. It's just Jason uses using his legs." And there's a couple of different, and there's also a hallucination scene that people think is teleporting, but but when you actually look at it, it's like it's like there's like some psychological stuff behind it as well. It, it's a fun episode, and I do recommend it. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those it, it's one of those weird episodes. It's one it's one of those weird situations where the guy isn't actually teleporting. Um. Uh, but what was I saying? Um, about people skipping parts and JoJo's. I think that was the original rant that I was going on. Um. So JoJo. So yeah, but JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. It's a weird. It's a weird situation where people think like, oh, you can't skip parts. And then there was one YouTuber who. Called him Jeff Thu, who 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 on his channel Mother's Basement explained how it's entirely okay to skip parts, specifically when you're trying to get to stuff that you like, and then going back to read the rest of the stuff later. And that's where most of my information is coming from because he kind of does know what he's talking about for the most part. Um, there are some times where people are like, uh, "Are you sure?" And he's even com confirmed that even though he even though he knows a lot about all the different things that he's going gone over, that doesn't mean he's infallible. He knows he makes a mistake from time to time. Um. And has even stayed to, stayed so in an episode, but um, but he did, but his entire thing was that was that um JoJo's Bizarre Adventure was built around the idea of being able to skip parts, and then and, and it but and it baffles him as well that there that there's people who just kind of refuse not to, even though it's not really, it doesn't really matter if you skip parts or not because as long as you get to part six with with the original part five with the original first five parts in any order, it'll be fine. It doesn't it doesn't matter because. Well, the only ones that really matter are part six and the and maybe part the la very end of part three, but so for the most part, it's just it does not matter, and and yet some people will swear by that you're not supposed to skip parts and that is a mistake and you are never going to hear the end of it if you just say them. Hey, I'm going to skip to part five. Is that okay? Um, and people are just going to yell at you for it. So don't skip parts, I guess, if you want to not upset the JoJo's fans, but. If you want to get into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, then uh, by all means, absolutely skip part, skip as many parts as you want, as long as you get to part six with all the with all the parts that you want the, that you need. Uh, because the rest of the series actually does explain a whole bunch of stuff, and you do need that information going forward. So definitely go definitely go forward at your own risk, because ah uh, okay okay okay. I almost made it that time. I know. Okay, so that's a bit. That's a bit rough. I think I'm gonna need to do a long jump there to actually get to where I want. So, but I am getting to it slowly but surely. And then I need to climb the triangles to be able to actually get to what I want. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Tricky triangles. I remember is is a bit of a pain in the ass. I remember that. Um.
Um, yeah, also, also my, I think my mom, I'm pretty sure. At one point, when I, when I was younger, my mom said, I asked my mom if we could get the original Super Mario 64 because I played the DS version and wanted to play the original because I knew there were some stars that were different. And she was kind of against it, mainly because she pointed out, she said that, that the easy stuff in the game would be the hard, would, that the easy stuff in the, in the DS remake would, is what, is what the equivalent of what the hard stuff in the new one is. And I'm like, no, because in addition to that, they added a whole bunch of stars for the, D, for the DS remake. I can understand where she's coming from. It's like the game's mostly the same, so why would you want one or the other, especially when one is probably easier? Um, not really, because the game mechanics are a little bit rough, but I get where she's coming from. I got where she's coming from. It's not like, it's not like I'm just like, oh, oh, my mom is stupid. And no, I love my mom, and I know she does kind of care about me a lot, but I do understand, and I do understand where she's coming from now, having picked up this game, because this can be rough if you don't know what you're doing. This can be rough if you don't know what you're doing, so I can fully understand where she's coming from with the whole you should not um you should play you should not play play the original because it could be difficult. And indeed and indeed she was kinda wrong in the fact that, that that some of the stars in this one are a little bit harder. So she's not entirely right there, but she does have a point that it is mostly the same with some added bells and whistles. Um I believe there's some secret stars that are different. I'm pretty sure. Okay. And now he just needs to get to Tricky Triangles. Hey, Goomba. Come here. Okay, he doesn't see me. Okay, there he goes. Okay. Okay. And now we're at the, we're at the part where this is going to be difficult. Um, that is, of course, if I know what I'm doing. Oh. 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 Well, that's it. Well, that answers my question. That is going to be difficult to beat. Okay. Uh. A key. Tricky triangles. Again. Yeah, I. Sorry I'm rambling a lot, a lot in this episode. I don't mean to be. Um. I don't mean to be. It's just that when I do like to. I, when, I, when I get stuck on things. And I don't really have any relevant commentary. I will just talk about whatever. That's just that's just what I do. And I don't really when I run out of relevant commentary to say about a, a video game, that then I start rambling about things that are up, that, about things off the top of my head. Like JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Apparently, that's what I decided to just bring up for this episode, this LP. I don't really know why. I just did. Um. Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, well... Okay. Alright, well, time to, do, time to do a puzzle platformer thing again. All right, Mr. Seesaw. This is gonna be. This is difficult, by the way. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing for this. Well, actually, I do have a general idea. It's just it. You need to be. You need to time it perfectly, or you're going to fall off. That's the. That's just the kind of puzzle we're playing right now. I mean, I've done this already. So this part. This part isn't interest. Will probably won't interest you guys all that much, but. Ow. That hurt like hell. Okay. Okay, so note to self, don't do that. I kill I almost killed Mario with that. So why is there a random coin there? Oh, okay, there's a shy guy. Yeah. Okay. Donut lifts. I remember the donut lifts are a pain. They're a pain in any Mario game, but specifically in this one, because they just fall way too quickly for you to actually cooperate. Um, 
They fall way too quickly for you to actually recover. Or at least in this instance. I don't know if they respawn. I, okay, they do. And they don't stay gone forever. Okay, do they like, respawn when I walk off screen? Yes, they do. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Uh. Okay, I got a little bit more time left. Not much, but a little bit. I need to. I need to do this. I need to do the star now. <laughs> uh, it, it's fine. It's fine. Probably. Yeah, this is this one is being this one's putting me through the ringer. I may do one or two more attempts. I can just, I can afford to skip one to go one episode or two without without collecting a power star in this episode. Um, this episode, I I'm way ahead of my total. I'm way ahead of my total for what I need to do. I've gotten I got several in a couple of episodes back to back. Um, so I'm fine to skip one to skip one or two. Um, okay. That doesn't count. I'll go until I'll go until I run out of lives. That's one. That's my promise for you. I'll go until I run out of lives again. So, yeah, I'm gonna need to come back and do this one. I don't have a lot of time because of um, work and stuff like that. But I'm trying to do this. Um, but hopefully I can get to it. Hopefully I can get the power star so I don't have to come back and re-record an episode. Uh, hopefully. I have my doubts that I, as to whether or not I'm going to be able to do that, but uh, we're going to. We're go that's what we're going to do. I hope not. I hope I don't have to, but we're going to. Yee. Wee. Come here, little black and two. There we go. You're dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, collects. Collect coins, collect coins. Okay. Okay, that the okay, the well, I guess that's the end of episode then. I didn't collect any I didn't collect a power star this episode. That's fine. I mean I don't need to collect a power star every episode. I will I'm uh, I'm on i I'm on schedule to be ahead of schedule actually. I'm ahead of schedule. I can go through I can I can afford to miss a power star or two now, so I'm fine. Um but I do need to I do need to work on that power star next episode because I have no idea if I'm going to be able to actually get it. I'm hoping I should be able to. I have no idea if I'm going to be able to, but okay. Okay, it's playing the little CG cutscene thing that it does. Um, um I'm coming to I'm coming for him eventually, by the way. I'm going to fight him in the third in the final episode eventually. I'm not sure when that's gonna be, but in any case, I think I'm going to leave this episode here and go work on food. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to follow me on Facebook and on Twitter in the description below. And also, be sure to check out my Patreon in the description below as well. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me out. And you guys get access to a bunch of cool perks. I'm always saying thanks. So, be sure to check those out in the description below as well. But, in any case, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.